What's up humans, it's Steven and we are back with Wednesday episode 5. Guys, you're just gonna have to start calling me L from now on because I figured it out. Two books. There have to be two notebooks, possibly more. This isn't over yet. So I really couldn't wrap my head around how the monster was able to get to the cave if, you know, my prime suspect Tyler was at the dance and just about everybody that we knew was at the dance. But it makes so much sense now when I looked at the monster just for a singular frame. Um, I had to pause it and look at it. And I'm going to have it on the screen. It has to be two monsters. Like this monster that attacked Eugene is not the same monster that saved Wednesday. And you can tell because this monster looks a bit older. Um, the hair on his head looks a bit different. And then this monster also has kind of a triangular shaped head. Whereas um, what I believe is Tyler's monster has a little more of a, an, a round shaped skull um and it actually makes perfect sense because in a previous video i was wondering i was like okay if tyler is the monster then what are his parents and it would make total sense if his dad the sheriff the guy who's been hunting the monster is another monster now the question is which monster is the sheriff hunting like is he looking like is he is the one that is being accused of all the murders is that Tyler or is that the sheriff um and so and then that also brings in the question what happened to his wife again did you kill her did she leave I don't know but I am pr fairly confident <laughs> in my deduction on this one I hope Eugene's not dead uh that was really sad that he got attacked like that but the fact that they didn't confirm that he was dead in any of the episode kind of makes me think that he's alive. So I'm just ready to get into it, ready to be proven wrong <laughs> if I am wrong about, you know, the monster. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me, and let's do it. How well do we really know our parents? Take my father. I've always considered him an open book. A man given to misguided schemes. So we're going to look into uh, Gomez's past. But when he was a student... <laughs> He was accused of a murder that took place right up there. Which leads me to wonder. Wow, that was a cool shot. 1990! Yo, that jacket Weems got on is sick, though. Oh, yeah, that looks bad, bro. <laughs> that looks way bad. So how did he get off? I want to know. <laughs> that smile was great. I realize most of you have heard about the unfortunate incident involving one of our students. But I'm happy to report that Eugene is on the mend. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm so glad he's not dead. <laughs> Oh, coma. You're his friend, and the reason he's in the hospital. That is not your fault, okay? The monster hasn't attacked anyone in the past week. Hmm. Finally, scared it off. Or maybe it went into hiding to avoid this weekend. Yeah. <sighs> Let's get this over with. Is oh how we missed all the accusing eyes and you so <laughs> Accusing eyes. <laughs> Gotcha. I uncovered your feeble subterfuge almost immediately. Relax. I haven't snapped any of his digits. Yet. So tell us everything. Since you've abandoned me here, I've been hunted, haunted, and the target of an attempted murder. <laughs> She's trying to hold back her smile. <laughs> I get big Aubrey Plaza vibes from her. Have you not been waxing? Three seconds. That's a personal best. <laughs> Are you feeling well? You're looking a touch anemic. Have you been eating enough red meat? It's good to see you too, Mom. She is kind of pale Thank compared you. to her parents. Our old yearbook. I haven't laid eyes on this in over 20 years. Such good times we had. Didn't mm. you remember stuff? 
Some of us better than others. Oh, don't be so <laughs> modest. You always filled a room with your presence. And I always adore Did she like Gomez? Did we was Weems into Gomez? Yes, she jealous. Unfortunately, Wednesday's assimilation has been rocky at best. Because I refuse to embrace the culture of dishonesty and denial permeating the school. Starting with the monster that killed Rowan and put Eugene in the ICU. Although I do hear he's on the mend. Dr. Kimbert and I have spoken, and we both agree it would be most beneficial for you all to attend a family session this weekend. <sighs> so if his parents weaken, where are the parents sleeping? Do they have to share the same room with their, their child? Because that would suck. Or do they all have hotels? At least they care enough about Wednesday to go to therapy with her. Tyler, come on, please, you've been through this. I'm just, I'm not comfortable dredging up the family past with some complete stranger. You think it's easy for me to sit there and talk about my crap? Dad, hmm. you okay? What's going on? You know Reggie, the local coroner? He just blew his brains out. Yeah, because he was getting too close to your mess. It seems they've been lying to me. Keeping secrets. Murderous secrets that need to be addressed. <laughs> he was here, werewolf. Why are you accused of murdering him? Whoa. Those charges were dropped. The father's an innocent man. Local sheriff doesn't seem too convinced. Winston, stop. And I refuse to debate a decades old witch hunt with you right now. I, the only way we wish No. Should... This session is off. Have it your way, mother. When, when they, if you refuse to tell me the truth, I'll just have to excavate it myself. Can I take these chips, though? Thanks for the candy. Is that potpourri? Actually, that potpourri? I knew it. Oh, my God. <laughs> that potpourri looked too much like chips, though. Community, you mean cult. We are a personal development movement that helps people take control of their lives. I Sounds a lot like a cult. I haven't come here to fight. Right, Jane. My name is Bianca. New name, new life. It's time to come home. That place was never my Her eyes look better on her than on her mom. Hard pass. What is she drinking? It look good. My son I saw is drying up. Recruitment numbers are way down and the wrong people are starting to ask questions. I didn't know that could happen. This wasn't a request. And if I refuse? Then everybody here is gonna know how you sign your way into Nevermore. I finally make something myself and you wanna destroy it. A siren can never change her scales. You got until the end of the weekend to save. And giving me a uh, counselor Moderna and her mother vibes from Arcane. You don't deserve this. I should be in my bed. Why did you go without me? I didn't mean to startle you, dear. You must be Wednesday. Eugene's moms, Sue and Janet. Oh, they're you cute. We could talk about lately. You were so happy you joined the Hummus. You were so excited to finally make a real friend. Well, I brought him some honey. Name Colt 45. Jagger said he kept it in his desk. I just saw Doc last week. He was playing a cruise with his wife. He seemed all excited about retirement. We got security footage. Nope. Camera was obscured. Black bubblegum. We got them scrubbing through a video to find out how long it's been there. No. You don't say. No. Of course. Guilty about no case. Says he covered it up. Make the coroner's report and has been living with that guilt for all these years. What case? Uh, Garrett Gates? Garrett Gates, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, Garrett so that's Gates. how he got off? It was covered up? What in the black and white pancakes? Thornhill giving me some some bad vibes. Not gonna lie. Under arrest for the murder of Garrett Gates. <coughs> for the rape you may have silenced, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. For the right to an attorney, you cannot afford one, one will be appointed. Pedro Tormenta. How should I? Devastated. She hates you in orange. 
I caught her lying alone in the grave earlier today. The headstone read Garrett Gates, the very boy you've been arrested for murdering. Care to explain? Man has a Garrett perfect part. With your mother. He mistook her kindness for interest. Your mother and I stepped out to catch her breath. His twisted love for your mother had made him insane. His eyes bore into me brimming with murderous intent. Go, get out of here. She won't hurt me. Bro, it is not that deep. It's a high school crush. Put the knife down. <laughs> oh. It was a terrible accident. If I'm being objective, his confession sounds entirely plausible. Delivered plausible, but not necessarily. Perhaps my father is exactly true. what he says. Thank you for being so honest with me. <coughs> she sounds like a cop. Nick, you taught me how to be strong and independent. How to navigate myself in a world full of treachery and prejudice. You are the reason I understand how imperative it is that I never lose sight of myself. So as far as fatherhood goes, I'd say you've been more than adequate. Gracias, Wednesday. That was nice. I like that scene a lot. Okay, with the the checkerboard print. Please. My father did not kill Garrett Gates. Don't you find the timing a tad bit convenient? The coroner kills himself out of remorse for a decades-old murder case. The very weekend, my father, your prime suspect, fails to return to town. How are you failing to see that someone is desperately trying to derail my investigation? I found the monster's cave and I gave you the DNA evidence. Did you even bother to test it? This may come as a shock, but the world doesn't revolve around you, Adams. DNA results. No match. Inconclusive. So you truly believe this is all some coincidence? Whoever hurt Eugene also murdered the coroner. Garrett Gates' family deserves closure. Even if none of them were around to take comfort in it. What happened to them? His mother hung herself in the backyard. His father drank himself to an early grave. And even his little sister didn't escape. Jeez. Stop trying to be nice. <laughs> Doesn't suit you. Father packed your favorite bait. <laughs> That'll do it, yeah. <laughs> I was a member. <laughs> I'll never live up to your legacy here. So I try. I I'm play really play digging play the checker print on Wednesday this, this episode. Our mission was to protect outcasts from harm and bigotry. The group was started by an ancestor of your father's from Mexico. Goody. I saw her painting at Pilgrim World. How ironic since she was the one who killed Joseph Craigstone. Father didn't kill Garrett Gates, did he? No. She did. Morticia did. Man, Catherine Zeta Jones ages like fine wine. I found your father fighting for his life. It was terrifying. I'll never forget the way he looked at me. He was even oh. foaming at the mouth. It was like I was staring into the eyes of a rabbit. Yeah, somebody caused him to be this way. This was not normal for him, I highly doubt. Even still, that's again an accident in self-defense. Garrett was foaming at the mouth. <coughs> His eyes sit on the cumin. 
ever seen someone so blinded by rage. Well, maybe it wasn't rage at all. Foaming saliva, dilated pupils, mental confusion. Rabies. Why are those all textbook symptoms, though? This reminds me of when you got your first grave digging kid. You were so happy you really smiled. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to join? Um, no, that's okay, darling. I don't want to spoil your fun. <laughs> well, well. What do we have here? Guess it's going to be an Adams family reunion and lock up tonight. You're both under arrest. Grave robbing. Thanks to me, you won't have to. I do a little jailbird will have an escape plan. <laughs> it's a souvenir from our outing. I borrowed it from Garrett. Was he poisoned? Yeah, from nightshade poisoning. Yeah. Remarkable preservation of soft tissue and blue tint confirms it. Prove to me you're still worthy to be called my son! Kill all those outcasts. What? Oh, it was self-inflicted. When Mike Garrett died, he had a vial of nightshade poison that broke in his pocket. He wasn't just trying to kill father. Trying to kill everybody. The nightshade poison and murdered the entire school. Dang. Garrett went there that night to spike the punch <coughs> and kill all the kids at that dance. That is dark. Ansel confessed the whole thing to me in a drunken stupor. It was his idea. Why did you instruct Dr. Anwar to falsify the autopsy report? Now, if there had been a trial, both Jericho's and Nevermore's reputations would have been trashed. I think the only reputation you were worried about ruining was your own. What do you want? All charges dropped. My father will be released immediately with a full and unequivocal apology from the sheriff's office. Our psychic ability resides on the spectrum of who we are. Hmm. Given my disposition, my visions tend to be positive. That makes me a dove. What? You're someone like me? Who sees the world through a darker lens? You're a raven. Your visions are more potent, more powerful. But without the proper training, they can lead to madness. Interesting. <laughs> oh my god. Judy Garland. You became her. You're a shapeshifter. Cat's out of the bag. That's a fascinating theory. I'm curious to find out how Sheriff Galpin feels when I tell him. You won't tell us all, Miss Adams. I wouldn't matter much if you did. Ryan's father already knows what happened, and he fully supports my decision not to involve the authorities. Why would he agree to that? Because Rowan was not in his right mind. His telekinetic abilities were driving him mad and he attempted to murder you twice. You and Mayor Walker are the same, aren't you? Burying bodies to cover your dirty secrets. Yep, covering up murders for the sake of peace. Okay, so we have a lot to talk about. First of all, I was really digging the checkered print that Wednesday was wearing in this episode, and it was very symbolic of just her mental state throughout the entire episode. So throughout this show, I know it's a part of the uniform, but throughout the show, Wednesday has been wearing a stripe pattern, which is why it was extremely weird to see her show up with a checkered print. Wednesday is usually right on top of things. She's able to figure things out quickly. She's very smart, very bright, very sharp. But this episode, she was kind of spinning her wheels like she was really confused about a lot of things. Hence the checker print to show that she was of two minds, um, just split in multiple different directions, not really sure which way she was going. And that's why at the end, after everything had been solved, she was back to her regular solid um, vest sweater vest underneath her jacket underneath her striped jacket so i thought that was really cool visual storytelling they do one of these they do something like that every single episode to where 
visually you are inside the mind of the character which is really cool and in all honesty it worked out because i was feeling just like wednesday this episode i don't know i i am being dragged every which way on this case like nothing makes sense but then everything makes sense there's a lot of things going on here and we got to try and break it down because i'm a bit confused so um I still do believe that Tyler's dad is a monster. Tyler's dad is a monster. Tyler is a monster. Motivations behind the monster's killings, I have no idea. I cannot tell. Uh, hopefully, we get some more into that. This whole murder case that went on and things being covered up and everything, that was a complete left turn. I was not expecting um, things to go out the way that they did. However, I am really, really suspicious and curious of what thornhill has going on um is she being is she kind of acting as a plant on the inside of nevermore is she trying to take nevermore down from the inside being a normie teacher did she set the fire ablaze on the grass uh that i don't know i, don't, I really can't tell what thornhill's game is she seems to be connected everywhere um and that's kind of suspicious like when someone is connected everywhere but is not playing a major role like they're they got to be doing something behind the scenes so i i don't know which way thornhill sways she may they may be drumming up the suspicion for her to come in at the end and be like the savior or something like that that'd be interesting and then weems man we still don't know we still don't know her in game i know she's in that last scene she was kind of explaining how like she's covering all this up for the sake of the school and that very well may be uh, a good part of why she's doing what she's doing but it, there's got to be something more there because she's doing some downright shady things. So I'm curious for that to be revealed 100%. I don't know. This show is this show is really interesting because I always feel like I'm on to something. Uh, and then they just kind of backtrack. I guess it proves why I'm not, I'm not a good detective. I do think I'm right about the monster thing. But at the same time, I could be 100% wrong. But I guess the only way to find out is to keep watching. So can't wait to see the next episode but that's gonna do it for today's video guys thank you so much for joining me remember to drink some water and if no one's told you today just know that i love you peace out everybody